around 11 p.m. Wednesday at the 200 block of Niagara Street in Stone Court, Syracuse police are investigating a shots fired call. Multiple casings were found at the area and shortly after the call, an 18-year-old male arrived to Upstate University Hospital with a gunshot wound to the leg. The investigation is still ongoing. On East Genesee Street between Salina and Spruce Streets, a water main break occurred in the village of Baldwinsville. Crews are on scene now and a portion of East Genesee Street is closed while they work to fix it. Dam failures in the state of Michigan have caused a mass evacuation in order to avoid deathly flooding. Roughly 10,000 citizens in Michigan were told to evacuate after large amounts of water began to overwhelm the dams in the Midland, with the National Weather Service warning of floods in Detroit over 9 feet. Governor Whitman had alerted the population to go to a family or friend's house outside of the Midland in order to stay safe, or if you don't have anywhere to go, go to one of the shelters that the state has opened up due to this emergency. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention seniors, this is the final week to send in your baby pictures for the graduation slideshow, so you can send those in to cbrazil at afmschools.org. And also seniors, there is a poll on Google Classroom about what to do about ball and some more graduation info, um, so make sure that you check the um, seniors classroom page um, on Google Classroom for all that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Today we will have sunny skies with a high of 78. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 78. Saturday there are a few expected showers with a high of 75. Sunday and Monday there will be mixed clouds with highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday we will have a high of 83 with cloudy skies. I'm Gabby with your weather. Because of coronavirus, colleges are losing hundreds of millions of dollars due to cutting sports. Not to mention the $4 billion loss they would face if football season was canceled. In order to save some money, many college athletic programs are dropping smaller sports such as wrestling, baseball, and track and field. Dr. Patrick Rishi, the sports business director at Washington, believes that football will be played even if it's in the spring because of the, quote, astronomical financial implications. I had to say, quote, because there's no way I'm writing those big words. <laughs> So basically, colleges may not have a choice. And with that, I'm Tom Sports.